Hey, this is Manly with VerticalLessons.com. In this video, you're going to pick up the first secret I show people when I'm working with them to build world-class visual presentations with PowerPoint. You can break free from all those boring PowerPoint presentations and have your presentations really stand out from the rest of the people out there so that you become known as the person that has the killer presentations. This is a secret weapon. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft has made it very complicated to create a new template, a default, that will allow you to do a couple things. Number one, this new template, I'm going to quickly show you the easiest way possible to do this. It's going to, first of all, free you up from the title bullet point march that it encourages the one that's built in. Secondly, it's going to save at least five to ten minutes. Once you start building your presentations the world-class way and you start not starting with a bunch of junk on the screen, but uh, you will actually save at least five to ten minutes every time you build a presentation. The third reason you're going to want to leverage this feature is because it will put you in a mindset of creativity and give you a blank canvas. Starting with that crystal clear blank canvas will make a huge difference in your creative process and free you up to build the best, most impactful visual presentations you can. On the Windows platform here, I'm going to open up PowerPoint 2010. This also works in 2007 and 2013, and I'll point out minor differences in those versions. The first thing we want to do is, from the main PowerPoint screen here, we're going to come up here and click on the View tab. From the View tab, you're going to go over here towards the left-hand side under Master Views and click on Slide Master. What this button does is it exposes the default layouts that PowerPoint is using for your presentations. So, over here on the left hand side, the very first one you see is actually the title slide that you will get, the very first one. I usually leave it alone because uh, I will have a typical required data for the business or the presentation there, the title of course, and any other information, your information. It's often the slide you have up as people are coming into the presentation or the breakout session or that first cover sheet they're going to see if you email it to them. Now, the, one of the trickiest things to figuring this out was understanding which of these slides actually becomes the default when you create a new slide and add one into your presentation. So what we're going to do is actually insert, I'm going to leave everything, all the defaults there for you. We're going to insert your new default template. So after you come in here and you clicked on the master layout, what you're going to do next is go to the second slide on the left hand side. You're going to right click it and then you're going to select insert slide layout. You click on insert slide layout and it will create a new third slide for you. Now, over on the right hand side, this is our what's going to be our default every time we create and insert a new slide into the presentation. I would encourage you to start with a completely blank canvas. So to do that, what we can do is come over to the right side, right side here and click on this title. To click on it in itself is fairly tricky. What you want to do is hover over this area and you get that super secret special four-way cross cursor. That's the one that lets you drag it and move it around. It's also going to light up that entire text box or title box in this case. Now you can just hit your delete key on your keyboard and we have a completely blank slide to work with. Now I've left at the bottom here the footer information. You can choose to use that and I can show you in a later video how to leverage that if you want. But now we have, as you see on the left hand side here, the third slide is completely blank. Now let's go ahead and create another slide layout so we can leverage it for some of those other structures that I teach you in the book. So now what I want you to do is right click over here on the third slide, right click again, and down here on the list it says insert layout. This is going to insert another layout, the fourth one, it's going to be below the one we just created. Now this one I'm actually going to leave as is. I'm going to leave it here with this title slide and then I'm going to come back and to the layout and close this master layout. Top right here, close master view. Boom. That closes the master view. Now, we are ready to rock and roll for this presentation, but I want to show you another step so that you don't have to do this every time. Now, this is the big time saver and where you're going to pick up that five to ten minutes is by having this as the default template. This is a little tricky too. I figured it out for you so that you don't have to screw around and mess with all the weird different ways you can do it. Here's the easiest way possible to do this. Come up on the left hand side here and click on 
the file tab if you have 2010 or 2013 office versions you may have the round office button if you have the round office button you'll click on it when you click file or office button then you come over on the left side and you click on the save as button that's going to bring up a dialog box when you get this little box pop up when you click save as you're going to see a bunch of different junk on the screen focus here where it says save as type click the drop down several items down here you're going to focus on this one powerpoint template click on powerpoint template and then you're going to name it this is important right here you want to name it blank b l a n k that's what's going to uh, encourage and that's what's going to allow powerpoint to use it as the default name it blank and it will pull it up automatically when we start a new powerpoint presentation so we click save now it's going to save it in our default template folder you don't have to worry about that just go ahead and save it now I'm going to quit PowerPoint. We're going to reopen PowerPoint so that you can see we start a new PowerPoint presentation and I'll show you the default. So the first slide, we still have the title slide here. You have your title, subtitle, but here's the key. And let me give you another keyboard shortcut right now. This is going to save you a ton of time. Every time you create a new slide, don't grab the mouse. You're losing five to 10 seconds every time you touch the mouse. So on your keyboard, press Control M. M as in manly rocks. <laughs> so press that it's going to insert a new slide now notice our new slide is entirely blank we have a clean canvas to start out with so that we can break free from the title bullet point march now this completely blank canvas default layout now is a great place to start if you want to use the visual verbal structure that I cover in world-class speaking in action on page 180 now you also may want to use as a regular uh, slide layout or perhaps to alternate and shake it up some you can use the say it show it structure that I cover on page 179 that's why we created that additional layout if you want to throw in one of the say it show it structures then just come up here to instead of using the keyboard shortcut you'll actually click up here on new slide in the drop down arrow and as you see now we have the top three that we're going to use most right here at the top so this third one custom layout with the title only is there so we can create our say it show it slides putting that uh, assertion at the top and our visual evidence below so again we can click control M to create our default blank canvas that's fast and easy you can drop down here do a title slide there's our blank one number two and number three the top three that we use at the very top and then you're ready to rock and roll saving time now your PowerPoint presentations are standing out from the crowd and you are a superstar now so let me know how I can help you if you have questions about this or other tips and tricks. I would encourage you to sign up for the World Class PowerPoint newsletter. I'm going to send you killer shortcuts that you can use right away to start carving off time, some extra uh, default templates that you can leverage, and also some tutorials so that you can actually start uh, building and getting some time back and build more powerful, high-impact visual presentations to make your presentations stand out from the boring graveyard of PowerPoint presentations. Until next time, this is Manly with VerticalLessons.com. Stop by WorldClassPowerPoint.com to pick up more tips, tricks, templates, and time-saving keyboard shortcuts. Thank you.